What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel, and yesterday we got an absolute bombshell RKO from out of nowhere. Announcement that on Friday, PlayStation 4 players are going to have access to the Black Ops Cold War Alpha again starting on Friday, September the 18th, and it's going to last until the 20th, so we do got a good week and a play time to get this game in, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Alpha on your PS4 and give you some information about what to expect come Friday, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check it all out. Again, I was not expecting this at all from Treyarch. I had no clue that we were going to be able to play an alpha version of the game this weekend. But unfortunately for you Xbox and PC players, you guys won't have the opportunity to play the game because Sony still has the contract agreements with Activision. So bummer that y'all get to miss out on it. But the beta for Black Ops Cold War is going to be launching next month in October. So only a few more weeks away until you guys get your hands on the game. But for us PS4 players, the alpha version of the game can be installed right now. And all you got to do is search up Black Ops Cold War Alpha on the PSN store, find it, and then press download. You don't got to pre-order the game. You don't got to enter some code. You don't even need a PS Plus subscription. All you need is a PlayStation and internet. The file size is coming in at 25 gigs, so it's not that big at all, which is really, really nice to see. But after this weekend, if you're struggling for space still, I assume you can delete it off your console. But I would maybe consider hanging on to it just in case they announce later on that the beta is going to carry over from the Alpha version installation so again maybe hang on to it for just a little while longer for now now guys keep in mind that this playthrough is an alpha it's not even the beta form yet so this version was in its very very early stages but I'm sure by now the game is close to going gold meaning it's almost finished and awaiting for release but according to Tony Flame he says this version is nearly identical to the ones that the streamers and youtubers played on during the multiplayer reveal I'm sure there were some tweaks updates and bug fixes but as more people do hop on this alpha we're probably going to come across more of those bugs the graphics they may not be completely updated just yet too but to be honest for that i don't really know what to expect but in terms of gameplay wise yeah it's pretty much the same that the streamers and youtubers played on but keep in mind though again this playthrough is mainly meant to gather information for the dev team as we approach the beta release next month now guys i'm kind of throwing this out there you know maybe it can work maybe it won't but if you really 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 want to play the alpha for Black Ops Cold War this weekend. Maybe you could go to your local retail store like your Best Buy, Walmart, Target, etc. Check out the return policy there. And if it's maybe like a seven day return policy or more, cop a PS4 and then return it back after the alpha is over. You know, maybe it could work. I don't know, but something, something to really consider. I, I don't know, guys. I doubt any of y'all are gonna be that serious if you don't own a PS4, but hey, it's a Call of Duty Alpha. You never know. Um, but now, guys, we also got like a little trailer for the Black Ops Cold War Alpha, which I'm going to play on screen for you guys right now. And we also got some more information about what's going to be inside of the Alpha. So I'm going to tell you guys about that. And pretty much we're going to be getting our standard game modes like your TDM, Kill Confirm, and Domination. But now in terms of the maps, we have three new maps, which are Miami. And that's like the map that we saw from the leaked Black Ops Cold War gameplay. Pretty much it's a nighttime Miami Vice kind of theme map. Very, very beautiful. And I cannot wait to get my hands on that. Next up here we have uh, the map called satellite now satellite was first teased in the black ops cold war reveal trailer and a satellite is set in the angolian desert where a kh9 american-made satellite has been downed and uh, yeah this map also looks very very cool as well but now guys we also have a brand new game mode which is combined arms domination and this is going to be available all weekend long pretty much it's domination with 12v12 vehicles it's on bigger maps as well and those maps are as followed one of them is called Armada, which is the map that has all the ships in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, you can use like the helicopters to travel around the different various ships and the zip lines as well. Pretty cool little map as well. Very, very unique. Next up here we have Crossroads, and Crossroads is set in the middle of the frozen Soviet wilderness. And NATO forces have ambushed a large military convoy comprised of mobile ICBM launchers. So far, this is our first and only snow map we have in Black Ops Cold War. And yeah, for those of you guys who love snow maps, then you probably are gonna like this one this map also does have a tank in it too and a lot of people were complaining
complaining that the tanks are very, very OP in the alpha build that the YouTubers and streamers played on. So I don't know how that's going to play out when everybody's going to be able to play this weekend. But yeah, that is something to maybe look out for. Now to kind of wrap things up before I head off, I probably am going to be streaming some games this weekend of the Black Ops Cold War Alpha. So if you guys want to stop by on the channel here for those streams, you're more than welcome to do so. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I'm really, really sorry for you players who are on the Xbox and PC and cannot experience the Black Ops Cold War Alpha. Um, but I am going to be giving away a free copy of Black Ops Cold War and an Elgato HD 6 CS capture card. And all you got to do to enter is just follow me over on my Twitter. A link's going to be down below. It's at Mr. The Revert. It's the same way spelled as my YouTube name. But with that, guys, tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.